What in the world is going on in chat, you plebs? Move him to 3-4. Well, I have to see if he can play it first, Prince. We'll have to see what his, like, combine looks like. All right, the Ravens are 1-2. and two. This might be a game that we would be able to win, potentially. See if we have any draft stories going on here. See what we got going on. All right, draft stories. Oklahoma, okay, Montreal Cody has been by his father on the sideline uh, during football games since he could walk. So he's a coach's son. That's certainly very good news. You would think his catching would be a bit better, just his, like, base catch stat, but who knows. Here we go, week number four going up against the Ravens. Let's get our first victory, please. Let's see. Uh, does he have good catching, Ryan? I don't even know. All right. We got a win! And we can officially relocate, guys. What are y'all thinking? Do y'all want to relocate the Browns? Or do you guys want to stay in Cleveland? Let's get some ideas in the chat. You know, I don't really want to draft another quarterback because we already have, you know, Robbie Tripp, but he's really not looking that good this year so far. All right. There we go. He looks pretty solid there. More of a run stopper than a pass rusher, though. Uh, we do have Danny Shelton, so maybe not a big need. There's a lot of wide receivers, apparently. Right tackle, good run block. I'd like pass blocking from tackles, though. And he does not offer that at all. Not even a little bit. This guy does. Not great, though. Not for a first-round selection. Uh, cornerback prototype. Man coverage is mm, all right. Could be worse. We'll keep an eye on him. Uh, depending on how the rest of this draft looks. See what we can do here. Alright. Nope, that did not pan out well at all. Let's see. Jacob will cry. Does Jacob actually care if they stay in Cleveland though? I don't know if he does. If we do relocate, I'd want to, to to keep it, you know, in the north, like around the other teams within the division. What up, TNT? How you doing today, man? Let's see. Make them the Columbus Aviators. Look at Trey Mason's XP. Does he have... Oh, gosh, he does have a lot. Did I not... I could have sworn we spent the XP. Oh, maybe I should bring Trey Mason back then. Yeah, we must have spent it because nobody else really has a whole lot. All right, let's see what we can do then. Get his awareness up. That's important for simming. All right. Take him to an 84. Let's see. All right. Well, what else do I do here? Get his spin move up a little bit. Can we get a, a straw pull on whether or not to relocate? Can somebody take care of that? Alright. Coleman out in 87. Mick Tobin. Get your awareness up and play recognition. We'll do play recognition next time. That'll take you to an 80 overall. Here's the rookie Javier Heward. Get your awareness up as well. Alright. Might just, uh, Robbie Tripp, I do... Alright, so Tripp's awareness is already up. So now I just need to focus on his throwing and such. Um, do medium throw accuracy there. Do one on medium, one on short. Alright. His accuracy is really not that bad. I'm surprised he's not playing better yet. Here's Deese. We'll do some of the younger players. Should the Browns relocate... This whole series is for fun, so I'm down to do whatever you guys vote on. It's not to say the Browns should actually relocate in real life. It's just what you guys would enjoy happening in this series. His tackle needs to be better, but I want to get that block shedding up too. Nearly everybody is saying yes. The vote is 10 to 1 right now. It's looking like you guys would like to relocate. So we can make that happen. Uh, I'll probably just auto-upgrade the rest for now. <clears throat> okay. 
So let's go find out what happened. 42 to 24. There you go. Our offense is coming alive. Let's see what happened here. And Robbie Tripp, five touchdowns, zero interceptions on the day, 322 yards. And we'll get our first interception of the year this time as well. Trey Mason, 4.1 yards of carry and a touchdown. Mason's doing all right. I feel like maybe we should actually bring him back. Seth Roberts, 12 catches. Quincy and Nunwa had nine. Uh, Corey Coleman with two touchdowns. Perryman with one. Wilson with one. Johnson, Mason, uh, adding another touchdown there as well. Kenneth Dixon, too. Where, I don't think Hewart's had a touchdown yet, has he? Defensively, Kirksey leading the way. And tackles, he also had the only sack for our team. Well, they split a sack between Cooper and Shelton. Uh, Joe Hayden with the one interception. Fumbles forced. Joe Hayden forcing a fumble, would not recover it. Tavares Deese would force one and recover one there. I don't know who said no. <laughs> I think yes, one. Yeah, it looks like you guys want to relocate. Um, and I do want to keep it within the division, something that makes sense, like I said. So... Let's go find out what we have here. Toronto could make some sense within that division. Brooklyn. I could do Memphis. We've already done Columbus. So I'm not like trying to do that again necessarily. I don't want to go back to St. Louis because we'll just have to be the Browns. Um, so yeah. It's between Toronto, Memphis, Brooklyn. Maybe if y'all wanted to do a different team other than the Aviators. I don't know. What are y'all thinking? London, do it for Jacob. Brooklyn beats. Brooklyn does have some cool uniforms, but we wouldn't even be looking at those. It might make sense, though. They have fan interest. They have the market. Um, looks like the majority of the people are saying Toronto, though. I know you stay within that division, but I don't want to be in the AFC North and then pick a team on the West Coast. Like, I, I guess... The north is the north, but I'm saying all these teams are right around this area. All the divisions kind of make sense within a certain area. So I want to keep it within that certain area, is my thinking. All right, Toronto's winning the straw poll early on. We'll come back to this. We'll come back. I'll let you guys vote on it. It looks like it's between Toronto and Brooklyn at the moment. Um, and I guess I'll try to uh, renegotiate with Joe Thomas. He would like some more money. Tell me he doesn't look like Mike Golick right there. You know he does. All right. I don't know how much he's wanting, though. He'd like a better bonus. Okay. And then Trey Mason. Let's see. All right. He wants more money. Danny Shelton hasn't really improved the way we were hoping he would. What about you, sir? All right, so we got Danny Shelton back. Uh, Barnage, I think we found his replacement. Duke Johnson. Honestly, we're getting good production from Trey already, so might be okay there. Toronto is winning the poll. It's close, though. It's seven votes for Toronto, six for Brooklyn. But it looks like Toronto will ultimately be winning. Okay, so Toronto it is. Let's go back. And Toronto. All right. Put them in my back uh, garden in England. <laughs> you just like go out at your picnic table and watch them play. Be like half the Browns fan viewership anyway. All right, so we're going up against the 4 and O. Oh. Atlanta Falcons probably going to be a tough game for us. We are at home. Maybe we have some momentum here. We'll see All right Let's see if we got an upset victory and actually we won't find out yet because we Are going into a bye week. All right, so back to scouting See what we can find here Robert Venable Looks okay. Maybe not outstanding, but 
I'm not seeing a whole lot of things that I love in this draft at the moment. Uh, Verly Cure. What an odd name. Verly. What? Why? There you go. Mike Luke looking pretty solid as well. Looks like a very strong receiver class. And, I mean, there's just more receivers down here, too. Um, what else do we got? Free safety? Nope. Left in. Rip. Not liking that one. What else? All right. All right. Let's see. Pick a name. All right. What do we got here? The Huskies, the Mounties, or the Thunderbirds? I think we've done the Huskies before. So let's do either the, the Thunderbirds or the Mounties. What are you guys thinking? What are y'all thinking for this one? All right. 28 to 14. We got a loss. So not a good start to the season for the Browns here. Um, Robbie Tripp, two touchdowns, one interception, under 200 yards, though. Running the ball, uh, Freeman, monster game. We definitely need to get better at uh, stuffing the run. It seems to be an issue right now. Connor Steele ran the ball. I guess it was a fake. How do you say that? Oh, Campanaro, Okoye. All right. Receiving. There you go. Heward, seven catches, only 53 yards. Still is yet to get a touchdown for us, though. Trey Mason, very good out of the backfield so far this season. Been doing a great job there. Curtsy once again, leading the way in tackles. Sacks. Uh, Williams on the Falcons now would get a sack. Uh, Jarrell Barr, second year pro with an interception. Looks like the majority of the people are saying Thunderbirds, but it looks very close. I think you guys are saying uh, Thunderbirds, though. All right, so the Thunderbirds it is. Played for the Thunderbirds, really? <laughs> Who is that, Prince? Prince, I don't know. I think somebody else had a better draft pick than your guy. I'm pretty certain. I tweeted it out afterwards. I think. Was that you that's always talking about the quarterback? All right. So Thomas wants more of a bonus. Gosh, giving him some money. I just did improve it, you ploob. All right. I think he wanted more bonus and salary. All right. All right, so we got Mason back. PA wasn't as good. I don't know, dude. I think he was better. Uh, he was younger and all of his stats were better. He was like an 87 overall being drafted. That's ridiculous. 87 with superstar development, no less.